Hey everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Underrail. In the last episode, we... In the last episode, we met with... With, uh... Oh my god! In the last episode, we met with the Faceless Leader. Uh, or at least the leader of the group who is down here. And we... After talking with him, we discovered a good amount of background about Chort. Amongst other things. One second, everyone. Oh, I see. So it walks robots in here and then releases them. Every so often. Okay. Right, so when we last left off... We had talked to the Faceless and yada 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 yada. We then... Uh, well, we then... Um, found this place. After... Okay, hold on, hold on. We s Several things occurred. Several things occurred. First thing that occurred, we... Oh my god! <laughs> Robot. Oh my god. Alright, so, yes. Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode... What do we do? We we found the faceless and we talked to them for quite some time. We found an insane person who has offered to help us somewhat, and he doesn't look didn't seem that in insane as much as, as he did just uh, just lonely. We anyway, he offered to help us if we find his dagger someplace to somewhere to the west of the someplace to the west of the warehouses. We then went in a different direction, and we found this location, the Arkley Power Plant? Arkley Power Station. And we are currently exploring it. The place is filled with robots being manufactured constantly. Oh, I don't like this at all. Yes, so uh, filled with... Manufacturing plants constructing endless amounts of robots and androids and defense systems. Someone is rather angry and or insane in this location as well, and is attempting to stop us by releasing gas, filling areas with um, cryogens, activating sh the floor, like setting it, uh, activating like electrical current to kill us, and basically guiding the robots to where we're located. It's been amazing. And I don't know why we're even here, but I'm here now, so I'm going to go ahead and just explore it. Oh, nice. Two normal lockpicks. So, in the last episode, we while we were here, we discovered that some doors now open for us after we configured them to do so. So, I'm walking around trying to find some key cards. I did... Mind you, I ran in here, grabbed that key card, and then immediately fled. Warning. Intruder alert. One intruder detected. Open gate to IRS, co IRS core. Nope. Still can't interact with it. One of these terminals must be interactable. I'm just not sure which one. Oh, hello! Hold on. This is the janitor storage. Recharge pad generator key. This key can be used to unlock any arc power station recharge pads generator's control box. Assembly control room 2 key card. We already haven't owned the tool.
Ooh, 168 quality shield generator. We're gonna take that. And I don't think I need so many of this in the end. Remember that when we're all said and done with this, we will be doing some more exploring of the Black Sea. So the robots must be walking around and then repowering. They must be, you know, putting back on the power supply here. It's a shame I can't keep them shut. Okay, let's see if we have the key card to what's down here. No. And I'm picking up too much garbage. Okay, we can we can ditch the garbage later. I probably should check all these file cabinets. I'm a little worried this, this air is going to fill with gas, too. But we'll, we'll search them. Or at least maybe some of the desks. Actually, while I'm here, why don't we simply drop the stuff I don't think I'm going to need? I can always walk back in here for more of those power supplies if necessary. That I will want. Blueprint for that. I'm going to just assume there's probably nothing worthwhile, but we should check it while I'm here. And I also should probably take those because they weigh almost nothing. Okay. Let's see if this door opens for us. This looks like a bathroom. It is a men's room. The what? I guess this must be the ladies' room. This panel must. I guess no. There's nothing really in there. Uh, I don't need to kill it. Come on, Tim. Okay, let's go back through this room. Have fun! <laughs> Woo, this, this guy is dead on it. He is really making sure I'm going to have a difficult time in here. Let's make a repair kit out of our scrap. Wait till this is off cooldown, and then we're going to be stealth again. Did I eat some food? Mm, not at the moment, I think. So we need another type of key card. Right, which key cards do we have currently? I was lockpicking those before, now I don't need to. Assembly line control room 2. 
entertainment room, which we used, and we used this one. Assembly line control room two. I don't think it was this. Yeah, we don't have any hacking, so we can't disable the security in this place. Oh, it must be one of those. Okay. We need to... It must be one of these two doors. We'll have to try to get past these... Camera. Alright, good. Actually, we should take one of them and recharge our dagger again. This is off, right? Jim, I can't... Can I shut the box? Oh, hey! Okay, we'll have to remember that we can do that. That might stop the robots from reactivating them. You know what? I'm gonna double back to the other area and do exactly that, I think. On the off chance, it's very important, which I suspect it probably is. Then we'll wait around and see if when the bots can't access the actual box, maybe they can't repower the these, whatever the heck they are. Here come the bots right now, so let's go ahead and just kill this one. No bothering me, please. It's the switch. Oh? Thanks for the parts, friend. I appreciate it. Okay, now we're going to wait around until we get more reinforcements, just to check. Because I would like to know... If the robots are indeed able to somehow open that power box up, that shouldn't stand there.
guess what we could do is just wait inside this room instead. Hmm. Actually, we'll go back in here and just wait. Sorry, everyone. I, I feel this is really important for some reason. I guess while we're waiting, we can take a look at my equipment and make sure everything else is repaired, etc., etc. Yeah, everything's in pretty good shape. Still have a decent amount of supplies, not running too low on anything at the moment. I somehow doubt we've destroyed all the bots. But maybe we're not going to get anything else. Alright, I'm gonna, I'll be right back everyone. I'm going to cut the recording here. Sorry for the delay. It doesn't look like any more bots are spawning for some reason, everyone, so I'm just gonna leave. Let's double back and explore the other... the other assembly line area we were just in. Smart module, which we don't need. Nothing in that shelf. HS78 hydraulic pump drive shaft, which we probably do need. Oh, while I'm here, there was something I left over here, wasn't there? Yes. Yep. That universal mechanics re repair kit. This looks really terrifying. <laughs> Thank goodness these ones aren't active. I don't know why, but it never even occurred to me that there would be coil spiders down here. Although, I think we will wear our detection goggles for this area. There could also be crawlers in this area, too.
Oh, so... Well, you're somewhere in this room. There's nowhere else for you to go. Oh! Really? Where are you then? Well, that answers a question I was always curious about. Can they teleport outside the room? Because we shut that door when we walked in here. I don't know if I can use one of, my, one of these lockpicks. Let's try this one. Super awkward. And there's another one, so we're dead. I prepared for the wrong enemies. I don't have my... Whatchamacallit equipped. <laughs> that sucks for me. Darn it. I I thought we'd get Coil spiders, and we got Death Stalkers instead. And there's another Death Stalker as well. Incapacitated. Perfect. That was very nice. Come on, Tim, you can somehow do this. I want to get back in that room. I want to get in here so I can heal.
Okay, and I don't think there's one in here, or we would have been attacked. Wow. Holy crap. That was super lucky. Well, maybe not lucky, but we did it. Maybe I'm just that good. Let's let's go with that as uh, as why we survived. Okay. Holy crap, Tim. I uh, I'm surprised we did it, but we did it. Should have had my well, again, I prepared for not death stalkers. Where is my pair? Actually, no. We should heal the full. This is that dangerous. We don't want to mess around with at least three Deathstalkers in this place. I like to find and kill them all so I can wear my Toxin outfit and just poke my head in here really quick. I just want to see if there's anything that's worthwhile in that area. Not worth searching the Death Stalkers. They don't have anything on them I'm interested in. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and stun you. Hopefully, that was all of them. We still have more doors to check. So, first... Nope. Nothing in... Uh, let's go all the way in. Alright, nothing in there that I saw. That needs to be investigated. Classic sludge could be useful if I was making those gas grenades, but I'm not guaranteed to get what I want. There is a coil spider here. I don't like how it's just sitting there. That just screams trap to me. There's a greater one as well. That one will burn up and die. The little one we can carve to bits. It's, he's no longer afraid. Let's let him still burn. What were they guarding in here that was so worth it? A key. Utility key. It's a small rusted key. Probably did this door, I guess. We've explored all the other doors that we found. Yup.
will just kill the spiders as we see them. I don't know if I'm going to have time to interact with that before the floor becomes uh, death to us. There's one patrolling coil spider. We definitely want this one killed. Tim, that's a greater coil spider, and it saw you. We can still do this without too much trouble. Just have to change up a, th a handful of things. So, don't want that or this equipped. We don't need that equipped. Sure. We'll incapacitate him, and he's dead when he activates. I can't run out of the room, so our best bet is to try to stun the greater one. And we incapacitate ourselves instead! Garrett, you are an effing idiot. <laughs> All you need to do is hit that spot. It was 90% chance, and you decided that you don't want to do that. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not equipped with the proper things in my hot slots. Let's do this again. All right, net, normal grenade, not the taser. Again, this is totally doable. We just have to hope Garrett doesn't roll a 10%, which he seems to like doing a lot these days. Just kill it. Resisted. Resisted. Immune to nets. Immune to nets. The door is shut, Tim. You're not getting out of here. Die. Okay, we did not die. Woo! Do I dare open that door? I can't. 
can't I can't get away from them if I do that. Let's open this door. Okay. Oh, there's none here anymore. Okay, we're not gonna bother charging our shield. Oh, well, actually only the greater one is able to do that to us. And it's not like we don't have plenty of batteries with even more waiting for us back where we came from. I am going to search this body just to get rid of the corpse. Same thing with this. And we'll just put this stuff in the, the shelf. Because I don't want to accidentally click on it if I have to run. That was one of your precious morphines, Tim. You're down to ten. But we do have a healing package still available to us from the Faceless. Maybe it will contain some morphine. So I'm guessing that they all went back to where they started from. They did. Hmm. That's not a good chance to hit, Tim. 73%. It's in the dark. And it's immune to nets, so that's not going to work for you either. Lighting it up isn't going to work, because we'll be attacked by all the little coil spiders and stunned. Let's see instead where maybe we can go. I can't go down here. If I stay here, these spiders can shoot through the webs, so that's not going to work out for me either. I guess we do have to shoot it. But the good news is the spiders don't think can walk through their own webs either. So we've only really got to try to kill this one and get ready for the other one around the corner. Then it might be best if we do shoot it from here. Actually, we might be able to walk up right up to it. If we go up and down like this. Yeah, I, I think we can do it. And the, the big one is by far the most dangerous thing here because it will take out all the power. Just kill it and run around the corner. I think we'll use one of my Molotovs here. really creepy seeing it burning like that. That's amazing. Oh, 
All right, not bad, Tim. That cleared out. Well, how many of them were there in here? Five little coil spiders and one greater one. Not so tough in the end. My thought is always that, you know, if you don't have stealth, you have to be able to clear the area of all the monsters. And I wasn't confident I'd be able to stealth around these things, given their patrol routes, without dying several times. We're gonna have to wait here a bit longer, everyone, for that fire to go away. Actually, no, we don't. We can just walk through that. That was a mistake. Wrong button, wrong hotkey. I'm assuming that we can't interact with that console. Nope, we're gonna enter combat, walk over here and slaughter it, because it knows we're here. Want to accidentally loot that corpse? We're gonna take that insectoid gland and stick it in that barrel. Just in case we do have more crawlers, we'll take our taser with us here. DNA figurine. Figurine depicting a double helix structure of DNA. That would be worth a bit of money if I was to bring it back with me. It doesn't weigh a pound. I guess we can take it. Since I have seven mechanical repair kits, we can even afford to spend two of them on it. Not getting in that way. Wow. We need to kill it. Console doesn't respond to any input. Let's wait for this to zap again. Wait for our fatigue to also pass. Shabby can't cut these electrical wires to get rid of them. don't know if that actually safely depowered everything. So I'm gonna watch and see. It did not. Shiba can't zoom into the power box to actually see if the lever is up or down. 
I'll assume we'll have to flip it again if I don't find anything else that we're supposed to do in this area. I can't afford the lockpick. Hello. Acid blob trap. Before we go taking it. Who would leave one of these here, I wonder? Always use more crawler poison traps, so we'll grab those. I don't really care about the HE mine very much. I do have a two. Actually, I don't even. I don't think I even want these. I think we'll we'll drop our MKs, uh, our MK2 mines. It's more important for me that the I pin someone in place than do AOE damage to them. So the next chance I get, I'm going to drop these HE, uh, HE mines. If they were MK3 or 4, sure, I'd keep them. But they're only MK2. I think these were the ones I grabbed from outside when we first walked up north into the area that's affected by Chort's power. Before I walk in there... And you missed through that, Garrett. Okay, we don't need those mines. Let's leave them here. Utility key card, another one. Some nice, high-quality equipment in here. That we're going to take, only to break it apart. So we end up leaving with a few more key cards. I'm gonna throw that switch again. Just to see if it does anything. Oh, maybe it did power down this though. Maybe not that maybe not this floor, but maybe it will let me safely interact with the console. doesn't matter either way. Let's wait by the console and we'll try to interact with it. The console is not responding to your input. So 
So I take it one of these must be used upstairs to do more door opening. There was at least one more door that we could use a key card for. So glad I have stealth. So glad I have stealth. <laughs> it's so awkward without it. Ah, oh my goodness, so many bots. All right, so we have a door. Actually, that's the only. This is the only door we haven't tried yet. Oh, hello. Good. This, this will give me a chance to see if the robot can repower these. No, no, no. That was not even my electrical dagger. It can! It can do so. Come on, Garrett, get out of there. Yep, don't forget to run right past the sentry bot. How can we do this? Power on, charge it. Plasma mode. We don't kill it this round. Thank you. Shield, that was very nice. Let's go ahead and recharge it. Sure. We can repair that as well. Tim, if you want to drop something, you probably should drop that stuff. That stuff you're holding on to for cash. Hello. What? Hmm. If I repair this console, does anything happen? Are there any more doors we haven't opened? No, I don't see any. All right then, let's double back. We can't open this door and that one absolutely must have a key card of some sort. Hmm. I see no unopened doors here except for this one, which requires hacking to open.
What haven't I done? What have I not done? Is there a door here I didn't see? Oh, maybe we got the key card to that door. I didn't even think to, re to retry that one door. Let's double back and see. Say I saw it, and there it is. Isn't isn't he a beauty? Is there just one in here though? Looks like it. Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. Probably should stay off of this in case this entire floor also becomes electrical. It probably doesn't, though. Actually, maybe that panel, maybe that power box actually deactivated this floor. Yes, I bet you it did. A jackhammer. We don't quite need that at the moment. You know what? We don't need that blob trap. We need that blob trap. All right, so we have a ladder. Let's re-stealth. Go upstairs and see what's up here. Thank goodness the ladders are still here, too. A means for us to actually progress through this place. Hello! Two more lockpicks. Normal lockpicks, but still very precious, because I only have 20 MK3s left. Another electrical repair kit. Nothing in the box. One of those giant droids, industrial bot. Do I have any EMP mines on me? No, I did not bring any. If I can avoid that bot, I should try to do so. I will probably want to turn these off, whatever these are. There's an elevator. Stairs up. How do I turn them off? There, this thing. There it is. Okay. All right, we'll try our best. I'm going to assume that more industrial bots get released from these other rooms if I destroy them. So, it's I'm really interested in not having to fight that industrial bot. No, no, don't you get seen, Tim.
All right, I want to make it to this room and turn that thing off because that will be power all of these, I suspect. Oh, no. Oh, there's one of those little robots here, though. That's probably just going to turn it back on again. But I'm going to do it anyway. this stupid robot it's able to just do that again all right fine let's go over here and destroy it so even if i lock the box that little robot can unlock it and turn the power back on to whatever those things are Warning, intruder alert. One intruder detected. Um, open gate to office sector. Gate opened successfully. Open entry gates. All gates successfully opened. Press any key to continue. Oh, okay, this must have been the supervisor position where they're activating or deactivating everything that's downstairs. A holographic figurine. It only barely works. The image distorts and disappears regularly. It could be the batteries, but there's no visible battery slot. This looks like uh, Princess Leia from Star Wars. There's a picture of a man next to which reads, Senad Roberts, Station Manager, Arc Power Station. Oh, we're back here again. Okay. So, we must have opened that. That must have been the... Oh, wait! That's the offices! We got the key card to that area. Um... Yeah, let's... Let's go back. Power control room key. An energy pistol. Incredible level. Weighs two pounds, though. We don't need it. Energy pistol. Plan. We actually don't know that one. We'll take that. God, hacking must make this whole area so much easier. Wonder what level hacking you need to actually deactivate all this stuff, though. Probably very high level, I would imagine. Okay, so... Let's... What 
use this thing. So once, once, oh, hold on. First, Tim, you should prepare for this. Go, go back, stop, Garrett. Go back upstairs. Or, or not, you know, or, or you can just, you know, stay wherever the hell you are right now. <laughs> Dummy. All right, so let's equip this. We don't need that. We'll equip this. That's probably useless. And we might as well grab this for the extra evasion. We'll recharge our taser. Quick save. Go downstairs. Hopefully we're not immediately in combat. So we have this room we probably should check. And we don't have access to the elevator yet. So we're just going to try to do this. so bad. Good for Garrett. Master Thief. We shouldn't expect anything less from him, though, to be honest. I don't think we have act- I don't think the elevator is going to work out well for us. Whoever's watching us run around this place probably just us make it plummet to wherever depths it goes to and kill us. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa! Okay, we don't we don't want to leave quite yet. All right, that was the main entrance. All right, never mind. Maybe now we do want to be still in here. Okay. Where else was there to go? There was another door we can try back on the other side by the offices, so we'll make that attempt. But first, we're going to destroy the sentry bot before it repowers whatever the heck those ground things are. So, we have a key card. I'm assuming it's not used at the elevator. Maybe we're supposed to take the elevator upstairs, but I think first we'll come all the way back over here and check the last of those doors we weren't able to open so far. The one that requires a high level of hacking. On the off chance it opens that. I don't think it is, though. I don't think it is, but hey, you never know. Actually, you, you probably do. Uh, I don't, though, so we're back here again. It's this door we want to try. Thank goodness we have tabby boots and interloper too. Doing this area stealth without those things? Stealth would only be useful in so much that it would... Oh. It would let me set up where I want to ambush the enemy from, but that's all it would let me do. Nope, not used here. Oh, that's not going to work either, Tim. The camera's totally going to see you. Hmm. Then it's the elevator we need to get to, I suppose. The only place I haven't gone that I can think of. Goodbye, cameras. Been a fun zone. Very confusing to navigate, though. Shame I'm doing this blind, because it would be significantly easier to, to do this if I knew where, where I was supposed to be going. It would be better for you viewers to know. Just 
Tim, if this thing sees you, it's over. Alright, let's hope this is where we're supposed to be. I can't think of anything else we need to do but access the elevator. Arc Power Station, Power Management Council, Console, Biocorp Dis Electronics. Power station rated capacity, 300 megawatts. Warning, estimated turbine efficiency is extremely low, less than 10%. Turbine maintenance or replacement is necessary. Warning, total electric supply capacity is extremely low, less than 5%. Current estimated capacity, less than 10 megawatts. Wow, this thing could power an amazing amount of things way back when. Now, unfortunately, it's just a fragment of its former self. Current power expenditure, zero percent. Reese, oh! Arc power station is getting 98% of the power currently. Deathly power from the arc security systems and assembly lines. This procedure will disable all security systems, including ammo lines, surveillance systems, and defense turrets. And, uh, sorry, turret defenses. Are you sure you want to proceed? Oh, yes, I do. Disabling security systems. Turbine chamber security. Security disabled. Office section. Security disabled. Automated manufacturing and assembly. Security disabled. Iris core. Error. Remote access is denied. Procedure completed with one error. 8% is now in the ARC power station. And, oh, interesting, I can't power everything. Oh, we could power the south elevator, or maybe Talos outpost. I'll keep power to south elevator. Error, node 19 is offline, unable to allocate power. Talos Outpost. Error. Node 2 is offline. Unable to allocate power. Okay, so we're not taking... We can't leave. What about the Tartarus Maximum Security Prison? Nodes 11 and 8 are offline. Unable to allocate power. Allocate power to Warehouse Block 2. Power allocated successfully. Allocate it to the Kairos residential block. And that would be good. Let's, uh, well, sure, we have the power. Allocate power to mutagen tanks, eh? Alright, let's leave. We're going to be visible the moment we step downstairs. And there's a bot right down there. I don't think the bots are powered off, just the automated defenses were. Not the actual moving about defenses. Oh, maybe they were. Hold on. Or maybe... Oh, no, 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 damn it! Well, with the... Assembly lines depowered. I'll only have to worry about any currently active bots. Hmm. 
Nice! Security cameras are unpowered. Oh, that will make this much easier to move around in. Not laughing now, are you, whoever the hell you are? We still need the access to Iris Core somehow. I don't know how to do that. Let's try it. Oh, no, 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 Tim. Let's try activating one of the security consoles now. Maybe she won't be able to, or he won't be able to, lock us out. Oh, we can't access it. Why not? There were no other consoles here. Let's see if we can find one that's actually working. None of them may be working, but maybe we can get lucky. Open gate to Iris Core. Gate open successfully. Well, we might as well we might as well visit it, whatever the heck it is. I'm assuming the person sitting in there is watching all this happen. You know, it's probably not a person, is it? Now that I actually think about it, who would be alive in this location? Oh, it wouldn't, no, it wouldn't, it could be possible. Todd from Lumeria lived for hundreds of years. Someone could be sitting in there. There could be some sort of agricultural equipment within this area that they're using to live. Probably not likely. Probably not likely, but maybe it's the case. Ah, it's so glorious to just walk up and destroy them and not have to worry about them ever respawning again. Okay, let's also put this crap away. Oh wait, no, 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 Tim, you wanted that. That's the, that's the energy pistol. All right. I don't think we need to access any other security console, do we? But you will still want to be stealth if you don't want to fight more robots. Where was this core? What's that one? I'm going to destroy this bot as well while we're here. Yeah, we should power up. There's plenty of batteries awaiting me in the warehouse district as well. Oh, this isn't the core. I'm not sure where it could be then. Let's go back downstairs and check the ladder area. I didn't think there was anything down there though, but maybe something has been unlocked? Oh, wait, can we... Can we just walk down this? No, we can't, okay. Hmm. I somehow don't think this is the right way to go. I didn't see any other exits from this area. No, I don't see anything.
Hmm. Where to and what do we do? None of these gates are open. There was nothing else upstairs, to my knowledge, either, right? Yeah, there's nothing else here. That just leads outside. That goes to the power station. Um... I'll actually everyone I'm gonna destroy this bot and then we'll search the remains. That's the industrial bot who saw who's seen me. Safe mode isn't going to save you that much, Mr. Bot. But now I'm out of power. So now I... Nope, that's not at all what I wanted you to do, Garrett. I can't recharge my g weapon in combat. Demoralizing statement. Intruder. You are not the first intruder that was dealt with. Oh, ho, ho. that was a very nice hit. You know, it'll just be faster. Don't even have any batteries on yet. All right. Now what? Let's recharge our dagger. Repair the dagger. We don't need the shield on. And now what? So that's all the enemies that were in this area. I don't see a map or anything like that. I don't I don't see any other passages. Let's check the office again, everyone, and then if I can't find out what to do, we'll call the session, and I'll figure out what we're supposed to do next episode. Was there like a door? Did one of these open? I mean, these just strike me as the things that will release the robots. You're the janitor closet. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I had better prepare for this, I'm thinking. Oh, I, I think we're good. 75... MK3 shock bolts. Quite a few energy grenades. We have a taser with us. Actually, you know what? We won't even we won't even use a taser. Let's get this on instead. Oh no, we'll use the taser. It does short circuit them for one round up close, and sometimes my dagger does not do that.
Oh, there's more of these strange circular things. I would like to power them all off. So it's like a showdown or something. Noise detected. Detect all the noises you want. You didn't see me. And your robot lines are down, so it's it's just gonna be these last remaining bots. And then you're dead. Do I dare step in there? We'll come back for that. I want to get a good feel for what's around here. So these little bots are no problem whatsoever for us. Good God, we just carve right through them. Well, I guess that's turned off the emergency batteries? Is that what these things are? And now maybe we can get access to this room? With, the, with them depowered? Oh, but not all of them are depowered. I'm going to assume actually it's the console we need to interact with. I still don't know what on earth these things do. Oh, and we can't relock. We can't relock the boxes. I expected this to be tougher. Maybe our stealth and our just insta-killing insta of these things has just been so incredible. And I can't depower this one. This door is not opening for me. Why do you want to murder father? Why? What did he ever do to you? Not sure how to get in there. I guess she's talking about, or he, it. Something is talk. It is talking about its creator. Oh, we have a we have a thing that's opened up over here. I did completely miss that that opened up for some reason.
Hello, electronics. You better believe we're gonna take a peek at these while I'm, as long as I'm in the area. Oh no! We should probably leave and deal with whatever's showing up out out here. Whatever, whatever these are, they're important enough that it wants to keep them powered, and I want to stop that from happening. So let me guess. This one's, yep, this one's back again. So this area oh, just gets reflooded with these things again. Hmm. I thought it, this was triggered based on where we stepped, but it's it's time based again. All right, I don't see anything here I'm, I want. We don't need this. We don't need either of those. Laser multi pointer. You find it hard to conceive of an interface that would require this sort of interaction. <laughs> oh, 157 quality steel plates, still not over 160 though, so. Very nice, but we don't need it. Ooh, 173 power core. We'll take you. Another bio thing. Bio thing, yep, that's what we're calling it. Father taught me everything. Taught me how to repel the invaders. That is what I've been doing all these years. Erasing them from existing. Erasing? But then you came along. Why? He is a good man. He is someone who creates. You are someone who destroys. I will not let you murder him! I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid you're not gonna have a choice. The screen is blank. You stand in front of a large holographic projection of a female face. Okay, it's a girl. Her expression is the epitome of pure rage. This happened by a frown so intense it bleeds red light all over the room. Aggravated eyes focus on you with the likeness of an imprisoned psychopath staring at her jailer, infuriated that found herself in such a demeaning position. A faint sound of grinding teeth mixed with static noise comes from all directions. It soon reaches near deafening volume clipping horribly as it reverberates across the room. You still live! No, no, no! How can this be? I have terminated all your predecessors with 100% success rate. I kept father safe from all the out malevolence. And now it is here, brought by my in by a statistical anomaly. That is you! 
No, no! I cannot stand your presence! I will not allow you to murder him! Why do you want to murder him? Why? Well, she has been trying to kill us, so number four would probably be at it would be a good answer. But I don't really care very much. All I care about is having control of the power station for my own purposes. They are of no interest to you, and as long as you quit your rambling and stay out of my way, I won't unplug you. How dare you! Do you think I cannot see through your deceptions? I will never let you harm him. Yeah, well, give it your best shot. Ooh. Well, we have shock turrets in the room. I see that these have all opened. I'm going to assume that we have the same things in all uh, coming from all directions. We're going to shield and move up. One more space, another space, and we're going to throw this EMP here. That will deactivate them for two rounds. I'm going to charge this group. Let's get some distance. Oh, it's still short-circuited. Wonderful. I saw it. I see all of them. Let's get into this little room. I heard a power, uh, some power go on. Hello there. You're not quite everything, but you're enough that I should throw down another EMP. That's fine. It'll be far faster for us to use some more of our electrical bolts on the industrial bot than charging it. I know these are these will end up in short supply after I'm done here, but it's worth it. Let's get some distance. Because I don't know where the other industrial bot is. I'm, I actually am using my critical goggles as well. Oh, that's very nice, Tim. That's very nice. You managed to shake the bot. That will let me repower. Ah, oh, you know, I... Well, yeah, why not? Let's repower this. We stealth go out there and eliminate the remains of the robots that are active.
Okay. We might have to hurry at this, Tim, because you might get more of them. So keep that in mind as you're rushing to recharge your equipment. Now, I don't know what these do. I haven't seen these before. I'm very nervous about them. Let's see if we can destroy them from the distance. Oh, Tim, they're shock turrets. Your electrical bolts will do no damage to them. What a wa uh, That's a waste, so don't even bother. Just get in there and I guess knife them to death. Nope, wrong, wrong weapon, Garrett. Well, now you're not getting away. Efficiency shield, everyone. Efficiency shield. <laughs> Tabby boots, everyone. Tabby boots. This, this is a bit silly. But you know... We're, we're doing it, because I'm missing, like, I'm missing more than 20% of the time. There we go. What earth do you have on you? Nothing. Take one of those. We'll destroy the other one. And then I think it's... And then, and then I think we deal with her? Again? We're regenerating. That's how that's how awesome we're doing. So we can run up, swing one, two, two times, and then run back. Oh! Nope, just one time. Actually, forget it. It's gonna kill ya. No, no, no! I cannot be defeated. You are an invader. I must terminate you. But you can't. I must. You are an invader. If entity equals invader, then entity must be terminated. I must protect father. I don't even know who he is. Where he is or what he is. Why can't you understand that? Father is everything to me. Only I know where he is. <laughs> As the laugh dies down, the projected face warps. You see emotions change in quick succession, the entire process lasting but an instant. However, one immersion, emotion bearing no relation to the, the... Oh, I can't pronounce this. Derisive laughter you heard before lingers on longer than the rest. Horror. Utter horror. The static coming from around you is gone, and so is Iris. All right. Like, well, so I guess we've now deactivated any hostilities that she has, because she's now destroyed. 
That works out really well for me. Shall we go back and tell the Faceless what we did? I think we should. And then... Then we can call it a session finally. Well, also, while we're here, we might as well repair our equipment. So, so far, Deep Caverns is not proving too difficult for Garrett, by the way, everyone. As you've seen, he's been able to hold his own in this location. Wow! We finally got another registration plate. It's only been the entirety of the game since we got that item. There's a there's our second. Now, keep in mind, this is something you, you were supposed to probably get off these robots ages ago. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not playing oddity mode. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we want to leave via the front door. It might be a little easier for us to make it back. We'll take all this crap with us as well because we can leave it someplace where it's a little more accessible. I'm thinking the father was her... It is Chort, I think. That's probably the case. Oh, that's just going to be some gasoline. I don't need that. All right. Holy crap. We did it. Whatever it was. And we've repowered certain areas of the deep caverns now. Now we just need to get the heck out of here. We'll probably have to come back here, I think. Because we're going to have to power on everything at some point, so. And we don't have enough power to do that. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun little fight. That was a fun little fight. Glad I brought my MK3 EMP grenades. Which reminds me, we should take them off the hot bar. I've only got one of them left. If you're going with this, Tim, then don't even bother equipping your crossbow if you have no special bolts, because you can't fire it otherwise. We got more self-consciousness oddities than we did registration plates off those bots. How many of them did we kill? So many. Excuse me, Mr. Faceless. Speak. I noticed that you have Chortus captives in the base. Yes. The Chortus were captured during the Hollow Earth invasion. Did you read their minds as well? Yes. It is an efficient way to harvest information. Can you tell me what you found out? Yes. These Chortists, and the data indicates most, if not all, of Institute of Chort members, possess limited information on the true nature of Chort, and ulterior motives and actions of Aiden, Chort's prime agent. The whole premise of Chortism is a fabrication, An Institute of Chort serves to be nothing less than a tool at both of their disposal, one they use as a means of achieving their goal. Aiden, no. What are their motives then? Power? One's intentions are best understood through observing one's actions. Based on all the data available, we've come to the conclusion that Aiden's goal was transcendence, evolution of form and mind, power. The only way to achieve this was by allying himself with Chort. Chort's goal is liberation, and the only way to achieve it is by granting Aiden what he wished. They both benefit from the relationship. 
And why do you think that was what Aiden's goal was? His body has yet to be examined. But we have sufficient data to assume that Aiden had underwent multiple mutations over the years, altering his appearance, capabilities, and lifespan to a significant degree, and that he had no intention of halting his personal progress. The concealing nature of his, as well as all Chortis clothing, exists for that reason, so that he may work on himself under the mask of secrecy. By sharing it with his subordinates, he legitimizes it, makes it appear transparent, while it is, in fact, oblique. Very well, Commander. We can't tell him about what we've done and how we've given, uh, we've freed access for him in case he wants to use, use the facility. So I guess we'll stop here then, everyone, and I'll thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one where we will do more exploring. I may do some inventory management as well off screen while I'm right here by the warehouse block, everyone. So um, I will see you all in a, well, I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Take care, and thanks for watching. Why, yes, I did decide, by the way, to pick his pocket, <laughs> and he's got a unique item. An empty infusion tank, and this is worth three oddity points. Just a, uh, just a heads up. I'm sure you won't miss it. All right, everyone. I will. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. And uh, again, take care, everyone. And thanks. Uh, thanks again for watching.